It's Friday, man. I can't just wait. Play the song again. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. It's too late. Give it up for DJ Ice Cream Truck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just playing. I'm playing. Oh, he's good. He's good. Everybody have a good time? It's Friday, huh? Yeah, nobody went to the strip club tonight? Not yet? Anybody play? Sir, you by yourself? You go to the strip club? Your wife is not here with you right now, so you might want to do that. My wife don't even know I'm here right now. I thought I was going to Walmart, so we probably can go together. Well, my married people let make some noise. That sounds sad as shit. Y'all all right? How long you been about to break up, sir? 30? She said it. 30 years. <laughs> wow. What's going on here? Those are your boys? You have three boys? Oh, I thought you was one of the boys, sir. I'm sorry. You look good. Age like Benjamin Button. I like it. You look hip. You look like you blizzard right in. Are you part of the boys too, sir? He's a hell dog with you. I'm sleepy, I hate <laughs> You with the crazy ladies? You're not crazy, huh, ladies? No. And they're in Vegas. I'll be a stripper out here in Vegas. I'll be Magic Mike. The black version of Magic Malik. <laughs> I got you to spy. You know you had teeth before that joke, sir. I like that. All right. <laughs> Wow, this is fun. Y'all look sad as shit in here. Did y'all pick the right show to come to? <laughs> He's like, I'm mostly not. I see you, sir. You look mad as hell. <laughs> My whole goal tonight is to make you laugh. I'm going to come tickle the shit out of you. I'm going to tickle your feet. I see you got one, one little button on the button. You got your, your chest hair right here. You got your little chain on, your choke chain. Huh? He doesn't have any. He got one little circle. It's curling. The little hair is just curling right here. There's one little hair. How many chest hairs you got, sir? Ugh. Look like a gorilla. Silver is great. Your balls are too, right? Just great back hair and great ball hair. I just turned 40. I got my first gray hair on my ball. I was pissed off. Hell no. I was in a shower. Almost fell out my shower, my glass shower door. Three days later, six more gray hairs on my ball. I'm like, I'm paw paw now. This is bullshit. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all young. How old are you? 22. He tried to add extra bass to his book. 21. <laughs> How old are you? 24. You the older brother? Yeah. Y'all in Vegas, man. Y'all go to the Buddy Ranch? Something like that? Leave mom and dad. They trying to go do some nasty shit. Y'all cock blocking. You know that, right? You're in Vegas cock blocking mom and dad. Look at that. You're like, yeah, you got 24 years. Did you, do you know the shit your mom and dad used to do before you two fuckers came? They used to fuck in the parking lot and, and fuck in the wind. <laughs> they used to be called the dunes. So let's go fuck in the dunes, man. He was by himself when they was fucking in the dunes. Still waiting on his wife. She still hasn't showed up. Where's your wife at, sir? Home. Home? Where's home? Jersey. Oh, shit. I thought he'd been back in the room. Home. Who you here with? Myself. You just said, this, I'm going to go to Vegas by myself. Fuck it. For conference. Oh, what kind of conference? Brain injury? Are you a doctor? Oh my god, ladies. <laughs> the, the wife is not here tonight. <laughs> I went to Vegas and fucked the doctor. <laughs> Stop coughing. COVID just stopped. Like last Thursday for me. I, COVID still exists, man. COVID, like, you can't cough in front of me. I stab the shit out of you. Don't cough. 
you can have the worst cough in the world, you're not gonna admit it's COVID. You can have all kind of mucus and phlegm in your car. <laughs> my allergies acting up today. <laughs> Sound like a positive test. <laughs> Did you get COVID? No? Me either. Did you get COVID, sir? Probably three times. Three times? Well, you said probably three times? You don't get tested, you just, did you lose? Wow, you just lost the train of smell and the taste and all that, right? Yeah, all that good stuff. You clapping, miss, did you get COVID? Oh, so you clapping for the test. You don't do testing? You don't do drug testing? Uh, <laughs> I don't either, yeah, yeah. We didn't say that. <laughs> So you need to get tested, that cause that sounds like a positive test. <laughs> you know, what the fuck is going on in here? This must be a fucking Trump crowd. Yeah. He might be president again real soon. And we got Trump supporters, where, where, you, where you guys at? Go ahead, yeah, it's okay. There you go, sir, yes, I know that Trump's your guy. I don't know how I knew it, I just knew it. I gotta give it to Trump, that's the most gangster president we've ever had in life, right? He get indicted every Thursday, don't he? He got more cases than what Tupac had when he was alive. You get out of jail talking shit. Yeah, they got us locked, they had me locked up on these bullshit ass charges with them. We going back to Mar-a-Lago, we gonna tear this shit down, watch. Make America great again, let's go. His hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> He need to do something about that hair, don't he? Take his ass to a beauty shop, let a black woman do his hair. She'll send him under the dryer. He'll come out looking like Al Sharpton with a perm. Just... <laughs> President is luxurious today. Look at him. <laughs> we in trouble. We got either Trump or we got Joe Biden. I, I got to give it to him. He's too fucking old to be president. This motherfucker can't even keep himself upright. How you gonna keep the country upright? You can't keep yourself upright. Falling every five minutes. How the fuck? He fall doing regular stuff, shaking hands. How you guys doing? Oh! Did y'all see him fall, fall off that bike? He fell in slow motion. Oh! Secret Service didn't even help him up. Get your ass up, Mr. President. You making us look bad. Russia's looking at us right now. Get your old ass up. P. Diddy in trouble too, y'all see him shine me? He going to prison forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever, forever. He left the country, his ass. <laughs> I would too, wouldn't you leave the country? I'd be somewhere in Switzerland. Only black guy in Switzerland. Hey. This shit is getting crazy, man. They locking up everybody. P. Diddy, R. Kelly, he gone. Bill Cosby, he was locked up. That was my daddy before I found out he was spiking pudding pops. I used to love the Cosby Show. You don't even know nothing about the Cosby Show, you two young ass brothers right here. What do you guys watch? What do you, what do you watch? Nickelodeon? <laughs> Nickelodeon watchers. We had sitcoms growing up, right dad? Your dad used to watch Happy Days, right? Yeah, see, you don't know what the fuck a happy day is. <laughs> you guys look like Zach Morris, though, right? You know who Saved by the Bell? You ever, you ever heard about Saved by the Bell? You gotta see. You Google it. Guy named Zach Morris. That was the coolest white dude in the world. That was my favorite sitcom ever. I wanted to be white for 30 minutes a week when that show came on. That's how cool Zach was. I don't know if you guys remember the theme song. Zach used to turn around, just flip his hair and smile. I wanted to do that, but my hair was too nappy. I couldn't flip it. But every week, I'm in front of the TV. I'm right there just singing along. And when I wake up in the morning, and a long time I don't want, I don't think I ever make it on time. By the time I grab my books and I get my stuff, I look up at the phone. Just the time to see a bus fly by. It's alright, cause I'm sick of it. Reality 
shows, keeping up with the Kardashians, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the nosy bitches of Newport. Like, I'm sick of that shit. <laughs> I don't like those Kardashians. Ladies, you guys like the Kardashians, ladies? I don't like how they treat the men. They just ruin every man they get with. Kanye West ruined, don't know who the fuck he is anymore. <laughs> Crazy as hell. Kanye West lost two billion dollars in two days. Did y'all know that shit? Cause he was talking about the Jew, the Jewish community. He made me throw all my Jewish jokes away. I said, I'm trying to keep my little four hundred dollars I got. <laughs> Lamar Odom, you don't know who the fuck he is. He passed out here in Vegas. I don't know if you guys remember messing with Khloe Kardashian. He passed out at the Bunny Ranch. Yeah, I was actually that there that night. You don't know? I was there. They say on TMZ that he passed out because he could he was drunk, but he, he didn't pass out because he was drunk and on drugs. He passed out because he couldn't pay his bill. <laughs> they brought that bill. Ooh, I can't pay this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> they put him in the ambulance and drove him off. He got out of paying that bill. I said, I'ma try that shit. <laughs> Y'all gonna see me at Applebee's. I done had no two for 25. <laughs> Baby, I see you in the car, I'm out of here. Y'all gonna see me in the ambulance. <laughs> oh shit. Y'all better learn how to pass out being in Vegas. You can't pay for your drinks tonight, pass the fuck out. <laughs> you keep coughing, pass out. <laughs> you guys look like a lovely couple. How long have you guys been together? Hey, get out a round of applause. 52 years. I can't pay nobody beat that shit. Anybody, right? Anybody be 52 years? I, I, I knew it. 52 years? I've been married 16 years. How do, how do you do it? Yeah, it's hard. I'm about to cry right now. My wife got me stressed. My wife don't even come to bed looking sexy anymore. She come to bed with anything on the dashiki, Ugg boots, Cobra Kai shirt on. She don't give a damn. The other night she came to bed with a motorcycle helmet on laying in the bed. I'm like, you don't want to have sex at all. She's like, nope, you took the visor down. So I'm going to jerk off, I'll be back. Where's the lubriderm? <laughs> yeah, you use lubriderm? Yeah, you do this stuff. What's your lotion of choice? You guys are young and I know you jerk off. Water, yeah! <laughs> 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 water in your Dad, give us some other lotion, man. <laughs> you never had that? Well, have that shit tonight. He's using water to jerk off. <laughs> using tap water. Get some essential water to jerk off. Don't use tap water. Make sure your pH balance levels are low. 9.5 pH. <laughs> you by yourself, what's your lotion, sir? Nivea. Nivea, thank you for being honest. <laughs> That's expensive, he leaves the best shit on his. <laughs> Nivea. <laughs> I gotta go down the road. I gotta go to the bathroom. No, tell me, what do you guys use? Icy hot. Ugh. It's burning. <laughs> I know y'all having sex all the time. Y'all just laid up together right now. He <laughs> don't jerk off no more. How long y'all been together? Oh no. <laughs> No wonder y'all all know me. Look, 50 years, look, they don't, they not even, he don't even want to touch her. He's like, get the fuck. Get off of me, Pearl. <laughs> you alright? Alright, make sure, sir. I'm gonna get a COVID man doing this show. <laughs> what you, aren't you guys glad we don't have to wear those masks anymore, right? When you sick of those fucking masks? 
I was sick of just talking to my mask and almost killing myself because I smelled my own breath. Did y'all do that? Just, hey, how y'all doing? Like, shit, that's me. Throw that mask away. I, I burnt that up. What did I eat today? I was watching the porn. This dude was having sex without a condom on, but had a mask on. He like, hell yeah, girl. I take a chance with HIV, but I ain't playing with COVID. Mm -hmm. I cover that thing up. I like this crowd. Y'all like the little crowd that could. I like y'all. Glad I came out tonight. I came from Summerlin tonight. Anybody from Summerlin? Yeah? Shoot, we should have carpooled. It's a tribe, I know. Where you guys from? Africa. Illinois? Chicago? No. Oh, shit, hell no. <laughs> you from Chicago, uh, Illinois also? West of Chicago. West of Chicago, what, what, what uh, city? Hit the Mississippi, but what city? Rock, Rock Island? I know about Rock Island. Oh, shit, you gotta look, see? We all family, look! <laughs> That's your grandson, you didn't even know. Meet your great granddaddy. Try some of the lotion. Use the, leave, leave the water alone and try some remedies. <laughs> or remedies. <laughs> nah, man. I'm born and raised in Las Vegas, man. I love Vegas. Vegas has changed so much. We, you know, we got the Raiders now, man. Any Raider fans in here, man? Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad. I hate them motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm a Denver Bronco fan. It's messed up because, you know, growing up, we never had a team, you know, so my aunt used to live in Denver, so during the summer, my summer months, you know, uh, after school, after, you know, the school was going in the summertime, you know, I used to go to Denver and hang out with my aunt all the time, so she used to, you know, buy me Denver Bronco gear all the time, so that's how I became a Bronco fan, and the Raiders are our fucking rivals, and it just so happens, Las Vegas bought the fucking Raiders here, my fucking rival. And I'm from Las Vegas, so I can't support that shit. I'm a Bronco fan. We got Russell Wilson. It's hard to support his ass. I'm glad they just shipped his ass off. I want him, Sierra, and her goodies to leave Denver. I hated the ass. I got to give it up to Patrick Mahomes. Well, that's my favorite quarterback. Y'all like Patrick Mahomes? Man, he talented, man. He, he might be the GOAT. But his voice don't go with his body, right? <laughs> You know, because every time you see him on a field, he's like, yeah, that was cool. Oh. And then as soon as he do an interview, yeah, guys, that was an amazing. I had a great time on that field. That's where we're going together. Sound like the same person right there. Any cowboy fans in the house? Nah. Yeah, I'm glad. I hate you cowboy fans. You're so delusional. Where? I'm sorry. Browns? <laughs> hey man, the Browns, you guys might have a good year this year. Well, you had a good year last year. But you guys might, you might go a little bit further. I like uh, Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett really good. Yeah? You guys are rich. You want to adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put that on my taxes. Yeah, I'll write you off. <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? If you don't mind me asking. Cairo? Man, I've been feeling a little tense. <laughs> Can you crack my back? I'm scared because I see that like on Instagram, people just do, yeah, come on, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sign like a waiver or something to do that? No? Yeah. yeah. Like they gonna snap your neck. Come on, baby. It's gonna feel good. Just hold on a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? It has to. It does feel good, my neck.
Yeah. 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 What do you guys want to be? He's biomedical engineer. He's what? Biomedical engineer. Biomedical Give it a round of applause. All right. We got to raise good kids. Can you? You ain't got shit. You just. I play PlayStation all day, man. You play soccer? University of Akron. Congratulations. You do look. I see you. You got little muscles. Wait a Oh, shit. Wait, you a model? Wait, does he look like a model guy? Look at this. What's with the pose right here? You look like a bodybuilder, but that's not a bodybuilder pose. Bodybuilder do this shit. But you're doing this. Hey, Dad. I'm 
I'll whoop your ass right now. You know? I know you ain't did nothing, but I know you're gonna do something later on the day and try to switch like that, fast ass. Just like your mom. <laughs> and these boys look grown now, right? I was at a high school, I'm getting rid of everything. I see her talking to some little boy, he got a little beard, tattoos on his face, he bald. I'm like, what? Is that Rick Ross? <laughs> Where's my camera? I gotta get a picture. That's her classmate, Chad. Like, I thought you was Rick Ross. No, I'm Chad, bro. What the fuck? What you been eating? Cornflakes? <laughs> what do you guys eat? Eggs. Eggs? There's something in those eggs. He needed it, right? <laughs> Benjamin Button. You know he's 25 years old right now. You know that? <laughs> My son is just like me. He loves scary movies. I'm a big scary movie person. Y'all like scary movies? Love scary movies. Who's your favorite villain? Ghostface? I don't like Ghostface. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen in your life? As a blood, what? I love so much. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, it's Have you ever seen the first Exorcist back in the 70s? Yeah. That's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Right there? That movie was terrifying. I tried to, my son and I, I let him watch the Exorcist. He was scared for like eight fucking days. <laughs> I don't think I'm scared right now. I'm scared. I just want to sit in my blanket. Like, get your ass up. Yeah. You know how scared I was? I still had to go to school. Get your motherfucking ass up. My favorite villain though is uh, Michael Myers. Remember you know Michael Myers Halloween movies? Yeah. They keep remaking them, those Halloween movies. Y'all know Michael Myers, he's been killing people since 1962. <laughs> he old as hell. <laughs> I Google Michael Myers. Michael Myers was born November 12, 1945. I said, if you get killed by Michael Myers, you really just want to fucking die. <laughs> How this dude kill your ass right here? <laughs> Beat the shit out of Michael Myers. <laughs> take his mask off. Give me your damn mask. <laughs> you take Michael Myers' mask off, it's Joe Biden under there. <laughs> <sighs> I just found out I'm addicted to Amazon. Anybody addicted to Amazon like myself, bro? Yeah? Yeah? So I guess I'm not the only one, huh? Addicted to Amazon. You, you know you're addicted to Amazon just by how many items you got in your cart waiting for you to press buy now. You got eight items in your cart. You got lotion in your cart, don't you, Dad? I got Jergens, 12 bottles coming. Amazon Prime. <laughs> Prime Day, that's where you get all your good deals. I buy everything off Amazon Prime Day. Socks, drawers, weed, prostitutes, I buy everything. I buy stuff I don't even need. I bought a whale whistle the other day on Amazon. I never seen a whale before with my naked eye. I don't even know when I'ma see a whale, but I bought that damn whistle. It was Prime Day. I saw it on Prime. Oh shit, a whale whistle. Eight ninety nine. Give me two of those. <laughs> when you addicted to Amazon, you know the best thing that could come across your phone. Your package is three stops away. You will lose your fucking mind. I saw that, oh shit, my whale whistle almost here. Oh shit. I'm practicing. Woo, woo. I don't even know what a whale whistle sound like. But it's almost to my door. I got it, man. I unboxed that whale whistle. I'm looking at it. Oh, it's finally here. Just like in the picture. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Next thing I know, my doorbell ring is my fat next door name where he was from Crocs. Did you call me? I heard my name over here. This whale whistle really do work. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> I wanted more of that joke, guys. I'm not even going to <laughs> You guys know who Snoop Dogg is? Yeah, I was reading about Snoop Dogg, the rapper entrepreneur. He revealed in one of his podcasts that OnlyFans offered him $100 million for him to show his penis on OnlyFans. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a true story. 
He said the only reason why he didn't do it because he because he has a black wife and she wouldn't let him. I said I got a black wife too, and I wouldn't fucking tell him. <laughs> I'm getting a hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars a lot of money, right, Dad? Hundred million dollars. I'm sure I'm more meat than a Jimmy John sandwich. Hundred million dollars. You get extra. You get dick and ass. I'm gonna be my asshole. Uh, I got everything y'all need. Girl. You on the other side? I got you. Here we go. Get extra. You fuck. How mad my wife get? Ladies, you let your man show up for hundred million dollars? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, don't marry her. She's a track for wife. Mom, would you let dad show up for hundred million? Look, I mean, absolutely. We could go out of the chiropractic business. <laughs> oh, I just had to get mad at me. I wouldn't even tell her, man. I just she had to find out when her girls find out. Her girls see it on OnlyFans. Yeah, tell her about it. You know what I'll do though? I'll keep a I'll keep $20 million under my bed in a briefcase. Waiting for this argument to happen. Do that shit, fella. If you got $20 million, leave it under the bed. That'll settle any argument you have with your woman. She coming up, what the hell is this? My girl just sent me this board. Is this you? You gonna show your dick? What's up, a motherfucker? All right. I can't believe it. Is this your asshole? Oh my God. Did your mama raise you? What kind of mama do you got to raise? A nasty motherfucker like this. I can't believe it. What are you doing? Wait, look at me. Why are you going under the bed? What are you doing? What is that? Is that a bomb or something? What is that? That's for me. Uh, so you try to distract from this bullshit, your asshole on open face. What you mean open it? Okay, wait, okay, I'll open it. Hold on. <laughs> this for me? I love your mama. I'm going to call her right now. You are <laughs> yeah, shut your ass up. That's what my dick brought in this month. What is your vagina do? Let me see your document. Twenty-five dollar gift card. What the fuck? Hundred million dollars—a lot of money. And that was offered to Snoop Dogg. And that's not even a celebrity that most women wouldn't even want to see naked, right, ladies? Can you imagine if it's somebody that you really want to see, like Aquaman, right? I know you like Aquaman. You'll get an ocean for that, wouldn't you? Can you imagine with Denzel Washington? They gotta offer him a billion dollars, Denzel. He'll break the internet if Denzel will show his penis on OnlyFans. All the, all the women will watch that shit. He'd be like, okay, ladies, okay, all right. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Pennsylvania? Yeah, we uh, Baltimore River. Oh, Baltimore. 
It make you feel at home. <laughs> been to Baltimore, you get arrested in Baltimore. You play football, sir? Just big for no reason, huh? Slap people on the regular? Huh? He had to go deal with the bridge. Did he lift the whole bridge up? <laughs> so I got a guy. That's incredible hope right there. I got the bridge, guys. Don't even worry about it. The word I clean up, I got it. Just... <laughs> Let me leave you alone, please. Let me shit out of me, sir. Like you punch harder than Draymond Green. <laughs> My fellow ball brother, you like being bald, sir? You ain't got no fucking choice, me and you both. <laughs> Love being bald. How old are you, sir? Great. Yeah. You 70, so you still got hair, man. I'm fucking jealous of you. Damn, you look good. You still got hair, too. You say, how old? How old? 65, you still got hair. Fuck. What, what did we go wrong, me and you? Just me and you in here. Anybody else? No? Uh -huh. So you got two summers left. <laughs> You're on the way. It's coming. It's, it's, it's on the way. It's, that's your future right there. Four, four seats down. That's your future. I like being bald, I get myself the head rubbed. I'm real man. I was at Walmart the other day, I rubbed the scab off my head, I didn't even know it. I get those little hair bumps. I mean, check out bleed, it's just trickling down, I don't even know it. Do you need an ambulance, sir? Who is she talking to, what happened? I look like Mayor Rudy Giuliani when he had that dye running down his head. About to bleed out, Jesus. Mm-hmm. 
Why is there lint on your balls? <laughs> Never mind, give it here. You don't want it anymore. <laughs> Alright, let me get out of here, guys. I gotta go back to someone. You had a good time? Yeah. Good, good. I like you guys. Hey, Hulk, come meet me up after the show, okay? Don't body slam me. I'll be out front. Uh, come say hello about this show, man. I appreciate all you guys. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Bring your imaginary wife to the... <laughs> I, not only am I a comedian, I'm also an author. Also, I wrote a book, so I do have some books to sell. It's called Laugh is the Best Medicine. How stand-up comedy saved my life. And some funny stories about how I got into stand-up comedy and some of the... Uh, funny stuff that I've been through in my life, so if you guys are interested, I'll be right outside, and uh, please support, I appreciate it. If not, keep fucking walking and act like, act like I'm not dead yet, shit. Some of y'all, don't look at him, you have to buy a book if you look at him. <laughs> nah, but I would love to get a picture with you guys, man, just make a memory, because I love what I do, I love a little stand-up comedy, and love seeing you guys smiling faces after the show, so. Thank you so much for having a good time tonight. Enjoy the live time. My name is Jay Reed. I appreciate y'all.